Hey guys, so I'm Liam and I'm going to be showing you a moving Sarnagi, alright? So I like doing this, alright, off the cross collar grip, alright? And usually I get this during grip fighting scenario. So what I usually do when I grip fight, I use my left hand and I want to control his power hand, his sleeve. From here, alright, sometimes that collarbone's too far away and his hand's blocking, alright? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on that inside shoulder, alright? So that cross collar grip. The reason I'm leaving my elbow up is so when I step around, I can use it to snap down, alright, when I pivot. Alright, so I want to use short, sharp, jerky movements, because short, sharp, jerky movements, alright, is what gets Matt moving. If I'm here, and I just rip down, and I try and use all my strength, it's easy for him to defend against it. Alright, but what collapses him, alright, is once I'm in here, stepping, and using that pivot, with that short, sharp, jerky movements to get him moving, alright? So, grip, alright, he's covering that opposite shoulder, straighter on that lapel, alright? I step around with my left foot, alright, and I pivot around, snap. Now here, Matt doesn't want to stay here, okay? So what he does is, as he starts to come up, I'm going to look at my watch. So I'm going to bring that arm up, look at my watch. Already, this elbow is starting to come across for a Morotto Sanagi. This foot, Alright, it's going to stay in place as my back foot pivots around. Alright, notice how I drop my weight beneath Matt. Alright, uh, the Sinagi that I use is a real leg throw. Alright, so I want to snap around, come up. I want to get underneath Matt and use my leg to stand back up to throw him over the top. Okay, make sure you keep your chest proud. Alright, as you step in, so step around, step up. Chest stays proud as you continue to pull that arm. Rotate through. 